This is Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with Razor Rob McCullough. Razor Rob, you have uh, the Bellator tournament coming up in January. Uh, what was your process like in signing up for this? Because you know that's a grueling three months for you. You know, signing up for a tournament, you're a veteran, you've been a champion in the sport. Uh, what was your decision like to, to make the Bellator tournament? Uh, my decision was I have a uh, family. You know, uh, that's new for me. I've just been married for over a year now. I have a seven-month-old son. Um, my focus is definitely back, you know, my head's on the tight and I'm ready to get in there and mix it up. So Bellator was a great opportunity. They got a lot of big things coming this year. Uh, being in the tournament, you know, that just gets me to showcase my skills and feed my family. Where was your lack of focus and what did you have to correct? Uh, I think, you know, getting out of the gym and, you know, so if you don't surround yourself with the right guys, you can't train with turkeys and fly with eagles. So I'm back with my head on and, you know, back in the game and get ready to get paid and finish fights. Uh, is the process of the tournament exciting for you because you know in three months you could end up fighting for a title? Yeah, completely. I mean, when I you know get into an organization, you always your sights are on the guy who's the top, the big dog. So I'm definitely excited to be in there. Uh, I think training right now for the tournament style for me, I'm already training. I'm, I'm months out. It's just to make sure that my body and my, I'm ready to go. You know, if I you know get an injury, I'm still going to be in tip top shape to to push through. Uh, I fought in a tournament before. I did an eight-man tournament. It was all in one night, and I, I had good results out of that. So, I'm and, excited. And being such a veteran in the sport, you know, how do you stay excited? How do you stay sharp? Um, I try to do, um, you know, waking up in the morning and knowing that th this is the fastest-growing sport in the world. There's kids out there that are four years old that are training. That you know, if you watch, you're like, well, no way. You know, that's like the new thing. So. Knowing that, waking up in the morning, it's like, okay, I got to get in there and you know keep my ebb sharp because you know there's always stuff to learn. Uh, again, as a veteran, is it something where you spent so much time in the, in the dark days of the sport that now that the sport's grown up and, and really hit the mainstream, you want to be a part of it as well? I think I think being in it when the when the you know when it first started, being a pioneer of the sport when it was still you know people didn't know what it was. Is it is it WWF or is it karate? What is it? I'm like no, I fight in a cage. It's like ah, oh, geez. I think. Uh, you have to evolve, just like the sports has evolved. You have to evolve as a fighter, and if you don't, you know you have a bad day, and a bad day in the cages, you know someone's sitting on your face, elbowing you in the face. So, I think uh, you know that's that's definitely another reason why I want to be on top of my game and stay sharp. And I'm I'm an athletic guy, and I think that uh, I enjoy learning, so it's kind of made it fun, fun for the fans too. So the razor still staying sharp. The razor is definitely sharp. <laughs> Uh, Toby Amada, Roger Huerta, Eddie Alvarez, a uh, lot of talent in the Bellator's 155 division. A message for them? I'm coming, and I'm in shape, and I'm ready to have fun. Razor Rob.